Welcome back, everybody. This is Emma. We're going to tell you more about her involvement in our segment in just a second. The Emily Petro is here. She's with the American Red Cross. And we have Nick Wilkonski. He is here with Nashville Canine, a special uh, little seminar that you guys are doing coming up on the 17th. For all the pet owners out there, you really need to listen up because it's so hot outside. And I think people know how to take care of themselves when it comes to heat exhaustion, but they might not know what to do with their pets. So this is where you guys are stepping in. Absolutely. You know, it's just been stifling outside these past few weeks, and uh, people often think of how they might take care of themselves during the hot weather, but right. oftentimes you don't think about, you know, your pet, and, and this is your best friend in a lot of cases and a member of the family. So uh, the American Red Cross has partnered with Nashville Canine mm -hmm. to offer a pet first aid course so that you can know how to be prepared and what to do in the event that your pet does have an emergency. That's really smart. We're going to give you all the details coming up. Now, Nick, you're here with Emma. Hi, Emma. She's doing fine. So all the demonstrations, just to let you know, she's perfectly healthy and doing okay. But, you know, I was just thinking, I have two dogs, and I don't know what to do if they would overheat. Well, most people don't recognize when heat stroke occurs, especially now with the high temperatures. Uh, people will leave their dogs in their car. Obviously, that's going to be very fatal. Right. Well, the problem is, is that dogs, uh, they only dispel heat through two ways. One, through the pads of their paws and through panting. So the average person is not going to recognize it. The worst thing you can do is to take a dog that's been directly in the heat in a car and immediately cool it down fast. Really? Because that will shut the system down and can be fatal. One of the tricks we can show okay. is how if your dog is suffering from heat stroke, mm -hmm. come on, come on, come on, is put a towel over their back like this. Okay. And slowly get either water and slowly pour it along their back, slowly and slowly, and that allows the temperature to drop slowly and not rapidly. And see, I said ice bath, and you said no. No, big, no big that big would bath. happen too quickly, okay. and the dog could go into uh, shock. Really? And okay. when all this has occurred, this is not a fix it. This is simply a quick and easy way of recognizing it and making sure that you can prolong the dog's life and you must take it to the vet because this is a serious situation. Dogs will expire. How quickly can they get overheated? Oh, uh, they can get uh, in minutes. If you leave a dog in a car and the temperature is as it is today, 100 degrees, the ambient temperature in the car can reach to be 120. Oh, wow. Also, two people have to remember, just because you have an outside dog and it's an outside yard and you have water and shade, the dog can still suffer from heat stroke. Yeah. If you don't have water with you, a lot of times what you can do is get a Coca-Cola, oh, set really? it up. Absolutely. And you, you can, can use that as well. So you can improvise many cases without necessarily finding anything. But once you, uh, once you put the water and cool the dog down, you mm -hmm. must get the dog to the vet. Important things to know. Now, Emily, this is coming up on the 17th. Yes. That's going to be happening 6 to 9 p.m.? Yes. Charlotte Avenue? Yes. Okay. Do people need to register ahead of time, or can they just come and pay the door? Uh, they can register ahead of time by calling uh, Nashville Canine at 615-438-2602. Okay. Or they can also register online. All right. So you can go to Middle Tennessee Red Cross dot org slash pet first aid. Now this is a class that's going to be 50 bucks. It gets all of the information out there. I think this is so smart for pet owners so that they know how to take care of their animals, especially when we're talking about heat right now. But I know that you're going to cover the gamut of how to take care of your pet. Absolutely. I see the little first aid kit. We do have a pet first aid kit, yes. And um, one thing that they'll learn is not only how to help take care of your pet in basic first aid um, mm -hmm. during an emergency, but also to recognize what signs are normal in your dog so that you can know maybe what is abnormal, in, especially in the heat. That's very important. Emily, thank you so much for coming in. Thank Nick, you. Emma, thank you. Very good job. You are such a pretty dog. All right, there's more coming up in just a few minutes. Let's talk to Craig. I know it is going to be a hot one out there. You have to be careful.